Here's a great job for a rainy day. Making your own seed tape. Seed tape is simply long strips of biodegradable paper that have got seeds placed at the right spacing for them to grow. It saves you having to thin out your seedlings when you sow fine seeds and it works really well for things like carrots, onions, radishes or even swedes. You can buy it commercially but it's also really easy to make your own. To make your glue, we simply mix equal parts of plain flour and equal parts of water and then mix it together. We're wanting a consistency that's like kids' craft glue. So we want it to be liquid enough, but we don't want it to drip off the end of a paintbrush. Perfect. Now I'm going to use toilet paper, but you can also use paper towels or any other biodegradable options. Work out how long you want your seed tape to be. Now my wicking beds are 1.1 metre long, so I'm going to make these lengths of seed tape about a metre long, and I've got a ruler to measure out here. I'm going to cut the toilet paper lengthways, so then I'll get two strips out of each length of toilet paper. And I've got several lengths stacked together because it's easier to cut the toilet paper without it ripping. I'm not going to bother to mark it out because it doesn't really matter. Now, once you've got it cut, simply remove the other sheets so you've got one sheet ready to work on. Now comes the fun part of putting a dollop of glue at the right spacing. Now, I'm planting purple carrots and I'm going to space them about 10 centimetres apart. If you were doing this with kids, you might even like to mark out the paper. I'm spacing these dollops of glue about a quarter of the way into the paper, and that's so that when I fold this seed tape over, it's in the middle of the sheet that I've folded over. And now, it's just a question of getting seeds. Now, you need to look up the spacing based on the variety you're using. And because I'm doing carrots, these are purple carrots, I'm just going to place a seed. Now, sometimes with these little seeds, you'll end up with two seeds going out. That's OK. Either one or two. Sometimes not all the seeds will germinate anyway. So now I'm simply going to double the toilet paper over and it will be held in place by the glue. Now, this glue will take a little while to dry, so you want to leave it flat while it dries. And then once it's permanently dried, we can actually store it or use it immediately. And make sure you label your seed tape so you remember what's on there. If you're going to use them immediately, simply lay them out, perhaps put a pebble on each end and lightly cover with soil. Obviously, you need to pay attention to all new seedlings as they emerge. But if you don't plan to use them immediately, you can even roll them up on an old toilet roll, store them in an airtight container, date it, and then they're ready for future use.